Hello and welcome back to another ads-free presentation. All right, well, let's take a look at what the Zorin team has left us to end this year a gift. This is Zorin OS number 17. Well, let me just say that this was a full install on a Toshiba satellite laptop. Does Toshiba even make laptops anymore? This particular machine had Windows Vista. No, I am not drunk. It had Windows Vista. It still works with the original battery. Yeah, and the original hard disk drive, no SSD. I got it maxed out with four gigs of RAM, just a dual core. You know, the fact that I can take something with that age and run a modern operating system like, like this, like Zorn, says a lot to the power of Linux-based systems. Now, that being said, as, as we quickly take a look at this, if you have something aged, don't expect it to run particularly fast. So as we take a look at this, Zorn has been around since, I think, 2010. The first time I tried it, it became an instant favorite of mine. And really, not just for newbies, Windows users to this, but really to anyone who wants something that just works. It's easy to use, easy to navigate through, and as maintenance-free as possible. Now, when it comes to Linux-based system, uh, systems, as you guys know, there are literally hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of choices out there. But I can probably count, as I'm thinking about this, on one hand, the ones that can compete with your Windows and Mac OSs of the world. This is one of them along with Linux Mint and, of course, Chromebooks with the Chrome OS operating system. Now, this was using about 2.3 gigabytes of RAM with the built-in GNOME recorder, again, a dual-core machine. It ran as well as can be expected, again, with the processor from uh, 2008. I think it was running the Jurassic Park architecture. Yeah. So... Again, the fact that you can install something like Linux on that age of computer, make it run and make it functional, such as to browse the web or do homework or whatever you want to do, says a lot. Zorn OS releases when it's ready. They don't really have a set schedule, and that may be why something like this has the least amount of problems, if any, upon release. The same thing with Linux Mint, by the way. The same schedule. They release when ready and not on a set schedule. This would be one of my top three choices for this year. The other two, of course, would be Linux Mint and my number one favorite, of course, Chrome OS or Chrome OS Flex if you wanted to download the free version uh, to install it yourself. Machines like this, operating systems like this, never disappoint. So if you're looking for something modern and something simple, something that you can trust check out the latest from zorn os number 17 and special thanks to the zorn team if you have any questions or comments post them in the comments below and uh, if i don't see you again happy new year take care